In episode 3 of Monarch, The Legacy of Monsters, we got to see a soft reboot of the incident at the Bikini Atolls whereby the US military, along with the founders of the organization of Monarch, lured in Godzilla into the islands and nuked him with a hydrogen bomb, which was then covered up as a nuclear testing, codenamed Castle Bravo. In brief moments, we got to see Godzilla as he was in 1954, and dare I say, he bore a great resemblance to the 2014 version but also slightly different, most notably his size and slight changes in his dorsal plates. So here in this video, we will analyze the footage and estimate the size of the big G as he was in that year, 70 years before the events of the Muto battle. Let's get to it. So how do we go about in estimating his size? First we need a good reference point which can be extrapolated then later. The best way to do this is by carefully examining the footage of the structures and people seen in the Bikini Atolls before Godzilla was uh, next to the nuke. So the best way here is to take a look at something that is both seen next to a person and then again next to Godzilla. And what else than the bomb platform? In one of the scenes we see a US Marine or maybe just a US Army personnel that was next to the tower holding the Castle Bravo nuke. So we all know that an average US soldier would be almost 6 feet tall or 1.8 meters, give or take a few inches. By this we can place uh, 6 feet tall lines one on top of another to get the height of the bomb platform. This gives us an approximate height of 9 meters or 30 feet. So now that we have that, let's take a look at Godzilla. So in this episode, Godzilla was clearly firstly seen uh, swimming towards the island with only his dorsal plates being visible above the water. And then he stood up and was clearly visible in the distance before the bomb exploded. And yeah, he was standing in the coast with a bit of his body, his feet submerged underwater. Don't worry, we got that covered too. Godzilla here was supposed to be chasing the Shinomura Titan to the islands and both of them were leered in to be killed but that story has now been retconned. For better or for worse, we shall see. Anyway, here in this scene, we have Godzilla roaring and just beneath him in the beach was the same bomb platform. So now, let's do our magic. We know by the earlier estimation that the bomb platform was 9 meters or 30 feet tall. So now we can extrapolate to get an approximate number of bomb platforms to fit the size of the big G. So to get to the surface height, excluding the submerged body part, we have less than 9 bomb platforms which puts his height here above the sea level at less than 260 or 270 feet. So to get to the exact height, we have to bring in the full body design and place it next to the image. And now with this here, we get his height to be less than 11 platforms. But as you can see, there is still a little bit of the lines extending beyond on each end, on top of and below. So now let's put Godzilla the design next to the line. Starting from the bottom, uh, counting the lines, we get the G-Man to be a bit more than 10 platforms in height, which translates to more than 90 meters or a bit more than 295 feet, thus rounding this off to be 300 feet or 91.5 meters tall. And that is the 1954 size. Now let's put him in comparison with the future versions. As you know, Godzilla, when he first appeared in the Monsterverse in 2014, was already bigger than most of the past incarnations. He was 355 feet tall or 108 meters. This makes him 70 years older than this 1954 Godzilla in Monarch and also 55 feet or 17 meters taller. Now after this battle with the Muto Prime, he changed drastically. He developed larger, more maple leaf shaped dorsal plates and increased in size. In his KOTM incarnation and GVK, he was stated to be almost 120 meters or 393 feet tall. This makes the current King of the Monsters in 2024 80 years older and 93 feet or 28 meters taller than the 1954 version. To be more precise, the 1954 Bikini Atoll Godzilla was the same as the female Muto in height. Now let's talk a little bit on the changes of the dorsal plate designs and then come to a close. The Monarch Godzilla of 1954 had the same basic dorsal plate designs as the 2014 Gary Goji, but they appear to be shorter and less impressive. As Godzilla had no deadly fights in between these years, it made no sense that the dorsal plates would have to change and they should remain the same. But I guess the Castle Bravo nuke would give Godzilla a huge power up with all the radiation emitted in the blast and it's like the equivalence of pumping steroids into the body to unnaturally speed up the growth of muscles. I'm guessing that this bomb, which is 10 times more powerful than the one Serizawa used to revitalize Godzilla in his lair in KOTM, uh, this bomb, Castle Bravo, would give him the necessary boost to grow in size from 300 feet to 355 feet, and the blast might have overloaded or damaged the dorsal plates as well. A bit, you know, 
to push them to grow bigger and become more like the 2014 OG design. So yeah, that's it. We have come to the end of this size estimation video of Godzilla. If you like it, then watch this other one as well. And if you're more interested in other movie monsters and creatures, then check out our channel. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, fam.